Jumping into the number five spot of the best budget mechanical gaming keyboards is the Ractus RTK 61P, coming in at a price tag of only $34.99. If you want to check out any of the five keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's talk about the RTK 61P. Firstly, this is a 60% form factor, which means if you do want space saving for a large mouse pad, if you're using low DPI, well, 60% is great for that. Build quality here is very solid, but fairly bare bones as the price point reflects. However, this is not necessarily a bad thing if you're short on monies. This uses a solid plastic shell that is very rigid, a top metal plate that is also painted white to reflect more of those RGBs, which I love. Now for switch options here, you have a plethora of choices with a choice between Gateron Optical Brown, Black, Blue, Clear, Red, Silver, and Yellow. Now I recommend either the Silver or the Yellows as they have a faster actuation, which means you don't have to press down the key as much uh, for the key to actually be registered. The Yellows are my preferred and that's what I would probably recommend as they're very light and have that fast actuation for gaming. Now while the Gateron Optical Yellows do have a substantial amount of stem wobble, this is the enthusiast in me talking. For gaming purposes, well, they're unbelievably amazing. For one, typically keyboards that have optical Gateron switches are really, really inexpensive, like this one, and they are unbelievably smooth. Possibly one of the smoothest switches you are ever going to get unlubed stock, and this is definitely by far the smoothest switch you're ever gonna get at this price point, 100% hands down. Pair this with a 35 gram weight, which is very light and a quicker actuation. And this is a fantastic budget gaming switch. The best budget gaming switch for speed. Now, as far as hot swappability, this keyboard is hot swappable, but only with other Gateron optical switches. That's typically how all optical switches work. For keycaps, these are using pudding keycaps. So if you like RGB, you're gonna like this. For the stabilizers, there's no rattle, and they honestly feel quite good considering the price point. You wouldn't think that these are tuned well, but they are. So we're all very good for gaming. Now for the sound, this is fairly hollow. It's pretty easy to remedy that if you're into modding. However, take a listen to the sound test of the Ractus RTK 61P. Take a listen. And that is how it sounds. But moving on to connectivity, this uses a detachable USB Type-C for connectivity, and that is it. Now for the RGB, this is super bright. I mean, really, really bright. Tons of modes, putting keycaps, so it's very rgb -y if you love RGB like me. Tons of static colors, there's rainbow modes, reactive modes, it's all here. This is also really, really cool if you have other RGB on your setup. This is kind of a centerpiece to a setup with those pudding keycaps to match to your setup. It, it looks very, very cool that way. Overall, if you love RGB and want some awesome switches for a really inexpensive price, this is one of the best options out there. But with that, let's move on to the number four spot, which is the Red Dragon K530 Pro with an asterisk next to it, because it's not just the K530 Pro. Coming in at a stock price tag of $50.99 at the time of filming, this is again a 60% form vector, so great for space saving. The K530's build quality is a step up, having a squared off single plastic shell. Again, very, very rigid here. As a test, I actually once drove over it with a car and it managed to survive and work perfectly. The case didn't even bend, so yeah. This has flip up risers on the bottom to adjust the angle. A solid metal plate, again, painted white for that RGB. However, the plate here actually curves on the bottom and the top to actually add to the rigidity. So it's a very, very rigid, solid metal plate. Now for switches here, you have a choice between Atemu red, brown, or blue switches. However, this is a fully hot swappable board. As many people will wrongly tell you that this is not fully hot swappable, the pro version is completely fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches, while the non-pro variant, the older variant, is not hot swappable. So my recommendation is not just to buy this keyboard, because in fact, I think in stock form that the Ractus is actually a better gaming keyboard than this keyboard. However, I recommend getting this keyboard 
along with some custom switches. If you are the modding type or just wanna get into it, this is a super simple mod to do that's really just plug and play, honestly. So for this, I recommend you get the EpoMaker Flamingo switches. These are a very nice, linear, smooth, Great sounding switch for gaming. These come in at $12.99 a pack. You'd need two to fill this board. These will also be linked below under the number four section in the links below, Amazon links below. So you'll also be able to get those. But if you want to do this, you get the Red Dragon K530 Pro. You then get the switches, take the keycaps off, take the switches out, put the Flamingo switches in, and then put the keycaps back on and you have yourself a very, very nice keyboard that, well, is really good for gaming and everyday use that's gonna sound quite, quite good. All right, now let's talk about those keycaps. The keycaps have good shine through, secondary sign printing gives this a clean look. The keycaps also feel nice for gaming to rest your fingers on there for long periods of time. The stabilizers are pretty good and they can be tuned. Again, if you're the modding type, these can be tuned to sound very, very good. The space bar in stock form uh, does have some, quite a bit of differences between uh, each batch as I've had uh, three or four of these keyboards and the spacebar always sounds a little bit different. So you might get lucky and it has no rattle or it might have a little bit of rattle. But again, if you're the tuning type or the modding type, this is a great keyboard to go to town on. Now take a listen to the sound test with the Evil Maker Flamingos inside. Take a listen. And that is how it sounds. But let's talk connectivity here. This is another big pro here. First, you have Bluetooth up to two different devices. You also then have a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. So if you wanna game wirelessly, that's the way to do it. Use that 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. Then obviously you can also plug it in with a USB type C cable that's either for charging or for connection. Now for RGB, it's actually very impressive here. It's very bright, especially for a wireless keyboard. It's not quite as bright as the Eractus, which was very, very impressively bright for the price point, but it's still very bright. Now this also has per key lighting, tons of modes, static colors, and an overall great color reproduction as their colors are very vibrant. Overall, if you're into modding a bit more and wanna customize your keyboard while not breaking the bank and having wireless connectivity for gaming, the Ridge Dragon K530 Pro is a great 60% keyboard for that. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot, which is the Techware Phantom Plus. Coming in at a price tag of $55.99, well, that is a great price for a great Keyboard, firstly, you can either get this in TKL or a full size form factor. The Phantom Plus's build quality is immense here. This is the second gen Phantom 87 or Phantom 104, and they really perfected what was almost perfect before. Very solid top metal plate here that is painted black with a nice texture, a single piece plastic shell that has a modern look to it with those hexagonal edges and a flat bottom this time for the plus variant, which is the newer variant. However, where the build quality excels is inside the case with two layers of foam between the plate and the PCB one being traditional foam and one being higher quality and more expensive foam, pour on foam, impressive. In the case, it follows suit here, having two more layers of foam. Not only this, but it has rubber dampeners for the space bar stabilizer. All of this only adds to the more expensive feel and rigidity of the keyboard. Well, the dampening doesn't add to the rigidity, but it does add to that solid feel to it. And definitely to the weight. However, because of all these touches, because of the updated design and the foam inside of this, this feels more like a custom keyboard rather than a budget keyboard. Highly impressive and a worthy successor to the original Phantom 87. Now the switches here are another part that's impressive. These are Techware's own Wraith switches. You have a choice between Wraith Brown or Wraith Orange. Those are both tactiles. And then for linears, you have either Wraith Red or Wraith Pink. These do come pre-lubed, but they're not super thick. Uh, however, the overall experience using this every day, really, really enjoyable, honestly. Really happy with this. I was very impressed with the quality and baffled by the quality of the switches, all of the upgrades that this keyboard had from the original, and then that price point, which is very affordable. Now, for the price, this is an insane value, although due to supply chain issues, I'm sure, it's really hard to get this keyboard. 
So most of the time on Amazon, it's not gonna be in stock. At least that's how it has been recently. Definitely check the links below to see if it is in stock. And if you want this, definitely pick it up immediately because this thing has been going out of stock like crazy. So, and I also believe Amazon is the only place you can get it. Techware doesn't have their own website that I know of. And I don't believe there's any other place to get the Techware Phantom Plus. So if you find it in stock, I would hop on it. All right, before hot swap ability, this is hot swappable with three pin switches. Now for the keycaps, there is good shine through here. They have a slight texture, which is very nice for gaming. I do like textured keycaps while gaming, but the stabilizers are fantastically tuned. I mean, they're like perfect. No rattle, no tick. They feel great. They feel really, really good. When gaming, if you're jumping a lot, if you're doing games like Fortnite uh, or games like Battlefield, where you're gonna be jumping in a different way opposed to Fortnite. I mean, it just feels absolutely fantastic. It feels really, really good to game on. Now for the sound, I think this thing sounds unbelievably good for the price point, possibly the best sounding keyboard in this price point, but take a listen to the sound test. And that is how it sounds. Now for connectivity, this uses a detachable USB type C. There is also a variant of this model, which I absolutely love, which is the Phantom Plus Elite. And that adds wireless connectivity and a few other little things like a detachable skirt and other things like that. But that one is absolutely impossible to find. It's like nowhere in stock. Uh, so yeah, very cool. For RGB, the RGB is actually super bright here. Now it is less bright in the wireless fashion or the wireless version, which is the Phantom Plus Elite, but the wired version is very, very bright. Tons of colors, tons of modes, perky lighting. It's super vibrant. You got all the static colors, all the modes you could possibly want. Great job. Overall, this is one of the best all around TKL gaming keywords to buy right now that does everything well and compromises on almost nothing. Well, that is except your ability to purchase it. So definitely check the links below. But with that, let's move on to the number two spot. And that is the Royal Kludge H81. Coming in at a price tag of $79.99. This is a 75% split design form factor here. This is great for not only gaming, but also more space saving than a TKL, but still giving you the exact same functionality as a TKL. Now, form factor just comes down to personal preference. So you'll have to decide, well, what is your preference? Now the H81's build quality here features unique design elements as the case has tons of unique angles, cutouts and little details such as having more off-white light gray on top with a dark gray on bottom. Dual stage risers are present on the bottom giving three different angles of adjustment. One of the most satisfying points of this build is the knob in the upper right corner that is actually not your traditional volume knob but it's actually a knob to switch between different connectivity modes. However, not only is it incredibly convenient to turn on and off and switch between different modes, but it's insanely satisfying. It's like fidget spinner levels of satisfying. The noise and the tactile feel, so good. However, it doesn't stop there. One of the most unique things about this keyboard is that it uses a polycarbonate plate, something only typically found on more custom keyboards. This is going to affect not only the feel of the keyboard itself, but also the sound profile. Now, there is also plate and PCB dampening. And when you combine all of these factors, this makes for a really enjoyable feeling keyboard to game on, and with headphones off, a very enjoyable keyboard to listen to. Now for the switches, this uses the Sky Cyan switches. These are linear switches and they come pre-lubed and actually lubed very well. This is a great feeling switch, very smooth and definitely a higher end switch. Zero complaints here. As for hot swap ability, this is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. Now for keycaps, these are actually non-shine through keycaps, which again is more of that enthusiast custom keyboard territory. That's where it's kind of pointed towards. So if you are into that, this might be really good for you. This is definitely a higher quality keycap with very crisp text, which is very good, especially at this price point. Zero rattle with the stabilizers and the space bar especially feels really good during gameplay. But take a listen to the sound test of the H81. Take a listen.
And that is how it sounds, but let's talk connectivity. Firstly, you can connect it with a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle for gaming wirelessly, Bluetooth 5.1 that can connect up to three different devices, and wired with a USB type C. When it is wired in that wired connection, you have a second USB type C on the keyboard for well, other things that you wanna plug in with a type C, that's cool. As for the battery, this is a 3,750 milliamp hour battery. So battery life here is pretty good, especially if you turn that RGB off, very good. But talking about RGB, this is per key lighting. It's not the brightest in the world, but again, the key gaps are not shine through, so this matters a little bit less here. This has all the modes and static colors and everything that you would expect. Overall, if what you're looking for is a custom pre-built keyboard with great lube switches, custom keyboard build quality, and wireless connectivity for gaming, this is a great pick. But with that, let's move on to the best budget gaming keyboard, which is the Epo Maker GK75. Coming in at a price tag of $59.99, that is affordable. This is a 75% split design form factor. Build quality here is unreal for the price. The case is a two-piece, semi-translucent, smoky black plastic featuring three different cable channels. So you can choose where your cable slithers to your PC. Dual stage risers are also present here, giving you three different angles of adjustment. A very premium feature here is an addition of a metal knob in the upper right corner. Not only is the knob itself solid metal, but it has a very, very satisfying tactile bump. And not only just the feeling, but also the sound of the knob is really good. This also has a very thick top metal plate with an impressive silicone plate and PCB dampener, then featuring foam in the case. Very impressive. Very impressive. For the switches here, you again have a lot of options here with Epo Maker's optical iceberg switches, Gateron optical black, brown, red, and yellow, with my choice being either the iceberg yellows or the Gateron optical yellows. And like I said with the Ractus, these are the same switches here. They're unbelievably smooth. They absolutely have stem wobble, but they have that quicker actuation, a light bottom out force, and I absolutely love these switches for gaming. They are severely underrated. As for hot swap ability, these are hot swappable with other Gateron optical switches. Now the keycaps here are the highest quality on the list by far. Not only are they significantly thicker than others on the list and have surprisingly crisp lines, similar to very high-end keycaps, pretty surprising at this price point. These also are a different profile called GK5, which is a more rounded spherical top, which is really nice for gaming as your fingers actually kind of rest in the keycaps almost. This also comes with extra blue and darker blue color keycaps. So if you prefer not having any of that pink on there, you can easily swap them off, which I really like the look of that kind of stealthy look. Also, it does come with extra keycaps. So if you did at some point want to take these keycaps off and put them on another keyboard, which I could definitely see you doing as, well, they're very nice keycaps, like truly nice keycaps. Now the stabilizers here are great with no tick, no rattle, they feel great, and the spacebar especially has this deep thocky sound for gaming. Now obviously you're not gonna hear it a ton with headphones on, but the feeling is also fantastic here. All right, but take a listen to the sound test of the GK75. And that is how it sounds. For connectivity, this is wired with a detachable USB Type-C. For RGB, it is an ice blue color. It looks very good on the keyboard. There are a few different modes, but the color is only that ice blue color, which still looks very good as you can change the brightness up and down. And it's overall very fitting. And one of the areas that they definitely saved the money in, well, to then save you money and bring that price point down. But overall, pairing the build quality, dampening, switch choices with premium features like the metal knob and high-end keycaps make this the best budget gaming keyboard on the market. Again, if you want to check out any of the five keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. The GK75 shocked me at how good it was. And the Techware Phantom Plus is also really, really good. But again, so hard to get the Phantom Plus at this point. So check below, depending on how long it's been since this video came out. All right, this is a consumer tech review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.